Let's get this sub panel properly bonded and grounded. The home inspector caught this when the customers bought the house. This is just a bunch of branch circuits in here. The cherry on top of this is that the bonding screw for this panel is just sitting inside the panel. Uh, normally you would install this screw to bond the cabinet and the neutrals together. So the grounds and neutrals would be bonded, but they are not supposed to be bonded in this sub panel. So that's what we're taking care of today. So first thing I did was redo this splice here. There was a splice made up in the panel. Clearly some uh, UF was not long enough and they had to make a pretty goofy short splice with some strange purple tape. So I disassembled that whole circuit and reworked that, which you'll see in the, uh, the final. But yeah, clearly just didn't have enough wire and they did what they could. But we're gonna make that much, much nicer than that. And then here is a number six bare copper that's going over and bonding this gas furnace. Uh, some CCST comes in, hits that furnace there. But that's just laying right on the neutral log. Pretty big violation right there. But getting all the neutrals in the grounds separated, loose, we're gonna re-terminate all the neutrals. Just making some room. This was relatively simple because it was such a small panel. It wasn't just a, a box full of spaghetti, so it was overall a pretty smooth process. And uh, obviously the panel was de-energized for this. It was just fed from the main panel, two pole 60. But as I got all these neutrals and this uh, this bonding jumper out, a couple of wearer screwdrivers, those are my go-to on this one. Just the flathead and the uh, number two square. So all the grounds there pulled up and out of the way so I can re-torque all of these neutrals. This is the Greenlee uh, torque screwdriver with a number two square tip. So all those neutrals got torqued to spec after they were, you know, jumbled, moved around and reset. And then I tapped in this ground bar up high. This was the best location as far as having all the grounds reach without having to make a bunch of splices in there. Typically it would be below, but I figured that this would be fine. Didn't make too many shavings and was able to clean it up pretty easily. And then now we're just working all the grounds back into that ground bar. And then once all these got landed comfortably, that made sense inside this panel, again, ran through and torqued all these down to spec. I believe it was 20 inch pounds on uh, everything pretty much here. So there we go. We got all of the grounds laid in. Looks pretty neat and torque them all down. Overall, this panel would have been pretty nice to go from the beginning. It still would have been, uh, it would have been much nicer, much neater. I like to take my time and kind of make them a bit of a work of art. This was just getting it all done properly because, you know, some of it was still squiggly and squaggly, but there you have it. Everything torqued to spec, everything pop properly bonded and grounded.